Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today, along with my dream cake, we are bringing you a fun two-tier cake design decorated with wafer paper. I'm starting with the bottom cake. This is six inches and I'm gonna be filling in with buttercream. This has been tinted pink with Americolor Gel food color and you can find all of the materials used in this tutorial at the My Dream Cake website listed in our description box or linked in our bio. Once all your cake layers have been stacked, create a crumb coat to trap in the crumbs. I ran out of the pink, so I just had to add in some white, but because it's just a crumb coat, it doesn't really matter what color it is underneath. Smooth it out, drag that top lip towards the middle, and then repeat with your top tier. I am gonna set it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. And in the meantime, just stacking, crumb coating, and then dragging that top lip towards the middle. After 20 minutes, your buttercream should be nice and solid to the touch. You can go on ahead with that final layer of frosting. We're using buttercream. I like to use a vegetable shortening based buttercream for that super duper white finish. You can microwave it for a couple of seconds to make sure that it's all nice and smooth and without any little air bubbles. Clear up the sides and the top and then back into the fridge she goes to set for another 20 minutes. With the top tier I repeated the same thing but I popped it into the freezer instead and it stayed there for about half an hour. In the meantime we can prepare our decoration. This is wafer paper and I'm going to be cutting them down into six centimeter sized squares or thereabouts. Once that's done, I'm going to grab a steamer. This is a cake steamer and we're just going to be turning it on, waiting for it to boil. And once it does, we're going to very carefully steam each square just until it's flexible. You don't want to work too close to the steamer or you will burn yourself. So be super careful with this. Rotate the paper a little bit and then give it a good scrunch and a pinch. And that's how it is going to stay. And then when it dries, it dries hard again. So it maintains its shape really well. From here, you want to use your airbrush. This is also from My Dream Cake and the Airbrush Colors by Americola. I'm going to give them all a rough spray in blue and then I'll pick each one up individually and try to aim for just the edges so that it's a darker shade along the outside and then a general blue on the inside and back. Pop those aside and then Add in your bubble tea straws or your wooden dowels into your cake. I have three in a triangular formation. These are inserted to support the weight of our top tier. Because it's been in the freezer, I can very easily pick it up with my hands and just pop it on top. Make sure you stick it to your bottom tier with a little bit of buttercream so it doesn't move around. Now we can start decorating. I have some of that white buttercream in a python bag and I'm just adding a healthy dollop on the back of each of my ruffles. These are super, super light decorations. Um, so buttercream at the back is more than enough to keep them attached. Work your way down. I start at the very top and there's about two to three rows of wafer paper as I kind of reach the base. So it's nice and thick. Onto the other side, I had a couple that were left over, so I'm just creating like a little bunch. And then a pearl buttercream border right at the base. This just helps to neaten it all off and tie it all together. Add on any cake toppers if you like, and your cake design is complete. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try it out. It is a lot of fun and super duper easy, especially when you're coloring wafer paper with airbrush color. A huge thank you to My Dream Cake for sponsoring this video. You can find all of the materials used in this tutorial in the description box below or linked in our bio. And if you do recreate this, we would love to see it. Hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot and hashtag My Dream Cake so we can check it out. Thanks again for tuning in and we shall see you in the next one.